Want to talk about the weather tonight, though, because we have a wild week Ooh. ahead. And I know you mentioned we're talking about dangerous cold, mm -hmm. and this really could be record setting. I mean, this isn't something to mess around with. Well, yeah, I mean, the wind chills that we're going to have uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, as cold as they've been uh, for the folks that remember January of 2014. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then the, the high temperature on Wednesday, if it verifies, as cold as we've had for a high Jenny, since 1994. Wow. Okay. But look at this. So these are high temperature forecasts. 42 tomorrow. Very short nature on those 40s, by the way. And then three really nasty days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then a week from now, we may be near, if not above, 50 degrees. So some big swings, and this is big-time pothole weather, too. And those are starting to pop up. I want to show you the forecast wind chill. This is Tuesday morning, okay? Watch as the really bitter and dangerous air comes spilling in from the north and west here. And once we get into Wednesday morning, fully suspect we're going to have wind chill warnings. And uh, the way we're going here, there's likely going to be several school districts, I would assume, that probably will cancel uh, on Wednesday here. We'll see how that works out. Uh, that's a, a bit above my pay grade, but I can tell you those wind chills Wednesday are going to be rather dangerous. Winter storm warning up for a good portion of Minnesota and Wisconsin, lower Michigan. Uh, they're going to get the, the uh, big hit of heavy snow with this storm that's beginning to take shape now across uh, South Dakota. Now for us, we're going to be on the warmer side of this storm track. Doesn't mean we completely miss out on winter precipitation. In fact, uh, we do expect there's going to be a little bit of a messy mix in the morning. Uh, that could be just enough to cause some uh, slick roadways here. And again, this is future track 13, a quiet but cold evening. And then we'll start to see some snow um, with a little bit of freezing rain here. And the, uh, the, the problem, I think, is going to be the ground is just going to be cold that uh, though we may have a rain, it's going to be hitting a sub-freezing surface. And so that's going to cause some icy spots here into the uh, rush hour. So definitely check in early with Chuck. He'll have you updated here. But a bus stop forecast that includes a wintry mix and then a cold rain that changes to some showers there for the uh, ride home from work and school. And watch what happens. I mentioned we'll be in the 40s just for a few hours. And then by this time tomorrow, we're back below freezing where we're going to stay for several days. And along with that, we're going to have some snow showers whipping through central Indiana as well. So you know, the planner, as we uh, go into uh, the next couple of days, it looks like this. So uh, by the time we get into Tuesday, what we're expecting is that uh, out the door Tuesday morning temperatures for uh, wind chill values will be in the uh, 10 to 5 below range here. And then once we head into Tuesday afternoon, that's the second surge of cold air. And watch as we play through the wind chill forecast. This is Tuesday at 4 p.m. We will get you into Wednesday at midnight. So then we're at about 20 to 25 below. And then once we get toward Wednesday morning, that's when we're hitting the real harsh stuff there. Anywhere from 30 to maybe as cold as 45 below zero for wind chills. Record low uh, in jeopardy there Wednesday morning. The record low high temperature in jeopardy on Wednesday afternoon. And the record low uh, will be rivaled on Thursday morning. And then here's the seven-day forecast now. Uh, again, next weekend. We're gonna, as we go from 10 below for a low, Jenny, and wind chill values in that 30 to 45 range, it's going to be downright balmy next yeah. weekend. But some real serious stuff there uh, as we head into Tuesday night and through at least Thursday morning that definitely bears your attention there. Yeah, definitely need to take precautions yes. this week for sure. Yeah.